<laughs> hey everybody, welcome back for episode 8 of Rick and Morty season 2. So, I didn't realize that this was only 10 episodes in the season, and I am actually kind of like heartbroken to find that out. But on the flip side, it might be a good thing because so far we are on such a like streak of great episodes that just keep hitting so good and if we can just go these last couple episodes we have like a perfect season of a show which i have personally not been like introduced to yet so that'd be super super hype to get into if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can come back and watch the entire series along with me Thank you to all the Patreons for the support. I appreciate it tremendously. I hope you guys are enjoying the unedited reactions. Without anything else, let's go ahead and watch episode eight. Don't worry about Jerry. You're oh, gonna Jerry. Jerry! You're gonna be fine. Oh, Ooh, Jerry! Stuff. It'll stain if it gets on your clothes and it'll send you into a murderous rage <laughs> in your eyes and mouth. Why would you keep mutant bacteria in a pint of Cherry Garcia? I know this isn't the time, but, you know, technically the second freezer drawer is mine. Not anymore. Oh, oh my God. Losing. Fine, but you're not touching my crisper. Is he going to die? Don't worry. Dr. He's Dr. not going to die. The best in the galaxy. Hello, I'm Dr. Glipglop. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> What? Every hospital claims to have the best Holy the shit! Oh, it's like those pizza places that claim to have the best pizza in the world. Through this is why you don't steal other people's ice cream, there. though. This is a life lesson. We pretty much nailed it the first time. Are you serious? Oh my god, Jesus. Alright, I wasn't a huge fan of that episode. I mean, like, it was alright. I wasn't a huge, huge fan, so we'll see if this is... On tonight's episode... We'll see if it gets any better this time. A regular old car. Here we go. I'm assuming that this is probably improv again. A lot of you said that it was improv. Oh, he's got a little bit of pushback there. Oh no, he just got <laughs> ran over and chewed up by the tires. I guess oh my god. Those names. <laughs> Michael McLick and Randy Dicknose. Love that. I do, I do understand about your eye holes. Here, look at my eye holes. Oh my god, you have Eight eye ho holes. Yeah, oh, this is improv. Oh, I'm looking through your eye holes. I'm the only one that's allowed to have eye holes. <laughs> get up out of here with my eye holes. Eye holes. Get them today. Uh, oh, oh, Beth looks. Explaining alien uh, We're worried about Jerry. Well, you're 39 years too late. Yeah, why do we have to do this while like Jerry is literally 50? dying? Christ, Beth, is is Jerry 50? Is it? No, it can't Where be, because then... I? Relax, Mr. Smith, you're in an alien hospital. <laughs> I mean, to you, it's an alien hospital. To me, you're just in a hospital. Shrimply Pibble's life can be saved if we replace his heart with your human penis. I see. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> it's perfect. The configuration of veins, the ratio of thickness to elasticity, the delicate asymmetry of what you call your balls, and you know, with relatively few adjustments, you are. The Earth man's world is tiny and undeveloped. Told you guys Jerry was important. Not that I'm on his side anymore, but his penis is at the very least important. Two, three, fourteen. And even if he did, he wouldn't comprehend them. <laughs> I've dwelt among the humans. Their entire culture is built around their penises. <laughs> it's funny to say yeah. they're small. Ooh. It's funny to say they're big. <laughs> and at parties where humans have held bottles, pencils, thermoses in front of themselves and called out. Why is this hey, so hey, accurate? I'm Mr. So and so dick. That's right, assholes. Take my penis. Take it all. And tell Shrimply Pibbles that when the galaxy came calling, Jerry Smith from Earth didn't flinch. For real? Is this really? This is not gonna happen, right? Like, I don't know with this show. Huh? Uh, no, no, no. I'm just, I'm just looking at that lady over there. Beth looks not Beth. Summer looks so annoying. Is she a human or is she like Worf? Morty, let's see what else is on, huh? Okay. And now we're back to how. All right. So at least this time though, there's a B plot, which I guess is Jerry. So like we have the improv, and then we've got Jerry. So that's different than that other one. That's the. How did I get here? Somebody help me, please! <laughs> All right. Holy crap! Look, it's that lady with the shit on her face, like war from Star Trek. <laughs> that was getting coffee. A quadrant. He can't be at two quadrants at once. It's like the 
very short pausing in between words that's like, yeah, this is definitely improv. <laughs> Is it important that we know who since 16? Whoa! Boo. Excuse me, nurse. Can you take my temperature? Because I think I have Jan Quadrant Vincent fever over here. <laughs> All right, Morty, you done it. So we'll be detaching with, your I'm sexual organ in the right base now. by making Are they really about here, to here? And they are not about to cut his of dickle off. To be threaded through a <laughs> oh, you know what? I gotta, I gotta laugh at myself here. I'm having a little laugh at myself because I just realized I haven't run this whole decision past my wife. <gasps> Is that? All right, here we go. We're gonna just steal a couple of. He things. looks like Mr. Poopy Butthole. Excuse me, can I help you? Starting with common office objects. Hey, hey, hey! That's my stuff. Such as staplers and pins <laughs> and all sorts of things like such as that. That's it. I'm calling security. But no! <laughs> we got, Why is his arm so a long? Bag of bobbish. That's eight grapples. We got a plumbus. That's six and a half. Grapples. It looks like we a dick. A, a Everything in this show has peepees. Everything. Welcome back to Funny Songs. It's all improvised. It's very funny. I need a volunteer from the audience. Hit me with the song. Uh, You're not gonna beat Get Swifty though. Uh, what do you do? What's your profession? I am a tax attorney. Okay, here we go. Hit, hit the music. I'm a tax I attorney. work for a tax attorney. Oh, Forget about Muhammad. Forget about uh, all those religions. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. It started really yeah. strong. Oh it started really, that really strong. So funny, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, um, security guards, take him out. Get him out of here. What? Get the orthodontist what? out of here. No. <laughs> get him out of his audience. Kill him. Sick him. <laughs> Demons. Suck his life out. I guess that's the beauty of them, like, doing the reading first and then animating it after. Jesus. But his penis will be replaced with a sophisticated prosthetic. Now, there's a wide range of options to choose from. They're all in this catalog. I don't care about prosthetics. This is insane. What do Open you the book. think you're doing? I understand Open your the feelings, book. Mrs. Smith. Is she going to oh, be reasonable here? I, I bring my husband in for emergency treatment. He's gone an hour, and now you want his penis, and you hand me some yeah. catalog. It's, 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 Come it's, on. It's, I mean. Sheesh. Well, there you go. Jerry, you didn't explain the full gravity of the situation. <laughs> uh, I don't think your decision should be based on politics. Let it happen, Jerry. It's time. Decision to keep her lover intact. Well, I don't think that's fair at all, Jerry. At all. <laughs> In fact, the I feel like he's not keeping his penis by the end of this episode. And also, I love that the like couple, like hey, literally the last episode, they learned nothing. Nothing. <sighs> Where, where the food is tiny, it looks like regular food, but really tiny. You can put it in your mouth and eat it. Nothing gets stuck in your lips. It's just tiny and tiny and fits right in. <laughs> fits right in. Some of these are really hit or miss. You hungry? Come on down. Little bits. Eat some fucking shit, <laughs> you fucking stupid bitch. <laughs> just kidding. You've got some time to kill before the procedure. So this I tiny, angry face. Use your penis one last time. I, I will say I am enjoying this this episode more than the the, the first cable one, and there's admittedly. An alien I actually got that on another planet, so it is an alien towel to me. Good luck. Thanks. My God. <laughs> Mr. Pibbles, you just wrote my penis a one-way ticket to staying on my body town. It's the opposite news with Michael Thompson. What is this plot? Hey everybody, it's me, Michael Thompson. Today, the Pope didn't get killed. What's the deal with this guy? Well, why is his body like sloping off to the right side of the screen like that? It's cat what dog. See what else is on, huh? Hey, welcome to cooking things. I'm Michael Thompson. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, Rick. This. I'm gonna cook a little bit of that. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, uh, stop talking, Michael. Oh, oh my God. God. Siamese twins. They're, they're Siamese twins. You quit. It's cat dog. I'm in the middle of my news. Oh, oh, it's always about you, isn't it? Can you believe this guy, ladies and gentlemen? I don't want to be that girl, but maybe there would be less conflict if they didn't shoot their shows at the same time. Oh, Summer, you have no <laughs> idea how much money that must save production. And then they found out I was attached along for the ride, and they said, ah, shit. Well, just fuck it. Summer's Call been really Michael. quiet this episode. You, You're a fucking piece of shit. Good yeah, she hasn't really. She's been very quiet. That's about still. The condition of our dear. Let's hear it again for Shrimply Pibbles, huh? He's yeah. A guy, isn't he? 
shrimply pebbles. about his accomplishments from his march on Flirt Blurt Square to his ongoing battle with heroin dependency. He's the best. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it occurs to me that his heroin addiction may not have been a matter of public <laughs> record. You realize heroin makes up 10% of the atmosphere on Shrimply Pibble's home planet. <laughs> planet was destroyed by Clark and death squads. He can't live outside of it without breathing heroin. Right. I know that. I just think... Uh, this guy's if Jerry doesn't lose his penis by the end, I'm going to be very surprised. The shleem is then repurposed. It literally looks like patches. a scrotum. They take the dingle bop and they push it through the grumbo where the fleeb... <laughs> is rubbed against it. It's important that the fleeb is rubbed because the fleeb has all of the fleeb juice. <laughs> then a shlami shows up and he rubs it and spits on it. <laughs> cut the fleeb. There's several hizzards in the way. I love the that there's like no question about and the what is happening. And Grumbo are shaved away. Personal yeah, again, space. I think that this, the improv for this episode is definitely better than the first one. I don't know if that's a controversial statement, but I, I respectfully, this improv is better. I mean, not like this specific one, but like the other ones. I take personal space pretty seriously. I'm not even interested in having this skin on my personal space. That stretched way too much. Stop it. Stop! What are you doing? Oh my god. Gross! <laughs> what an asshole! Oh, tune in next week to the best show ever. The show we all grew in love. <laughs> Did it just unalive itself? Word of Jerry Smith trying to weasel out of his penis donation has spread across the galaxy. Beings everywhere have come together to offer what little they have to help save Shrimply's life. Enough to pay for a brand new, state-of-the-art synthetic heart that will be even better than Mr. Smith's pathetic penis. Wait, nice. that was an option the whole time? Nice. You guys suck! <laughs> yeah, we suck. Are you still here? Okay, Jerry, let's head home. I can't leave now. Everyone hates me. Unfortunately, they already there's no did. surgical procedure that can fix that. <laughs> We're ready. Not so fast. Jerry, no. Are you insane? I'm a good person, <laughs> and I demand that you cut off my penis and put it in that man's chest. That's not how it works. What well, you're gonna make it work? <laughs> what? Why, Jerry? <laughs> I understand now. From the first time I said something about liking Jerry in season one, I I get it. I get it. I do still love him, but he's not as reasonable as I thought he was gonna be. He very much is. Uh, I help people. I yeah. save people. It's my bad. I was a poor octopus person. Judgment of character on my part. Save some trouble, cause here comes a trouble mite. Gross. Does all interdimensional TV have to rely on juvenile violence? <laughs> summer, maybe people than the ones that just communicate. Maybe your problems are your own to deal with. And Morty! Maybe public giving a shit about your feelings is a one-way ticket to extinction. Jeez, Morty. I take it Catherine Heffelfinger hasn't texted you oh, back yet. Oh, God. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, guys, let's go home. Where's Dad? Breaking news. Shrimply Pibbles is being held hostage. Yeah. Known as Jerry Smith. Remove my penis. <gasps> Why is there a camera in the it's operating room? Reality, right? No, right. Are you sure? I don't know. Do it! Do it! <laughs> Remove my penis! Where did he get a gun? Who gave him a gun? That's not a gun. <laughs> That's the XP twenty XS. No. Oh. oh my God! I'm a good person. <laughs> <gasps> Was it all a Was he actually no, shot? He shot like 50 times. Oh my said. god. Thankfully, you're in a super sophisticated alien hospital, so it was basically like getting a splinter removed. All, all I wanted was for everyone to like me. Jerry, remember that time you left a comment underneath that YouTube video and someone replied and called you a dumbass, so you replied and told them it takes one to know one, and then you stayed up all night hitting refresh on your browser waiting for them to reply, <sighs> and then you fell asleep crying? I remember it differently. This is like that. You can't make people like you. You just 
have to I can't for I, I for them. we're gonna enter to an I shouldn't be motivated by other people I have no words <laughs> I'd like to go to the zoo with my family. What? Uh, what are you talking why? about? It's a that? stupid Don't idea. What's the matter shit, with you? Oh. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll go home. What the hell is he talking about? That was good. That was that was that was a good one. <laughs> Shouldn't the eye holes be fake? Ah, oh no, way. they're from. I got it. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. There, yeah. <laughs> Can you believe eight episodes in a row and we're still going strong? I was, I was hesitant. I will admit, and I, I think you guys already know my stance on the on the first cable uh, interdimensional cable episode. I wasn't a tremendous fan of it. There were obviously like good bits here and there, but so I was super hesitant of this episode. And as soon as I said, it, I was like, damn. The streak is gone. This is gonna, this is gonna be it. I just, I don't know about the improv, man. Like, some of it's really, really funny, and then some of it is very, like, I feel like they just do the improv, and then they have nobody else, like, look at it. They're like, yeah, we did it, so this is going in the show. Like, there's nobody to say, like, hey, maybe, like, this one's not super, they're just like, we did it, it's going, and that's it. So, I don't know. But it was really good. The Jerry... I'm, I want to. I want to give a public apology at this time uh, for how I, f my first impression of Jerry. I genuinely thought that he was going to be the sensible one, and as time has gone on, and we're only in season two, as time has gone on, he has proven to not be the sensible one. He has had moments here and there, but ultimately, he is a very concerning person. I still love, like, the character Jerry, but I don't think that I can, like, back him anymore. It's just, it's a, it's a tough time, but this was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. There wasn't really any, like, I feel like nobody really, like, progressed as far as character goes, at least that I, like, right off the top of my head, not that I really noticed. If anything, I, I think it really just like brought Jerry down another peg, which is kind of unfortunate. But overall, very neutral story as far as like, or a neutral episode as far as like everybody's story goes. But it was a really enjoyable episode. I'm really looking forward to the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that way you can come back and watch the entire series along with me or check out some of the other series that we've got going on. I really appreciate the subscriptions, and also if you could like the video and comment, that helps a ton if you guys are enjoying the videos. Without anything else, I will see you guys next week for episode 9.